All right, this is the ETM 1120 blade change. The first step when you're changing the blade is to fully power down the machine from the side. Step two, we're going to remove the throat plate. And if the throat plate has the little metal hook, you have to lift that to remove it. Step three, we're going to lift the silver handle that's down in the body of the machine. So you have to reach down in the body and then lift this handle. Step four, we're going to remove the guard. When we remove the guard, we're going to store it on the side of the machine and nowhere else. So step four, remove guard, place on side of machine. Wrenches are also located on the side of the machine. So step five, once you have the wrenches, you're going to loosen the bolts that are holding the blade in place. There's an open end to the wrench and a closed end to each wrench. I'm going to place the opened end on the left and it's easier if you don't see where it's going to go, it only goes in two positions, that you just spin it until it drops in place. So the opened end, and now the one with the closed end is going to go on the right. Typically it's around parallel that it's going to click in. I'm going to loosen the bolt. Make sure you keep your hand underneath so you don't drop the bolt down into the dust collection system. And remove the guard or the blade. Step six, once I've removed the original blade, I'm going to install the second blade. In this case, I have a dado blade. A dado blade consists of two regular saw blades. On these set of dado blades, the side with no writing goes inward, and it says this side out if you have a new blade. So step six is I'm going to install the new blade. I'm going to place the old blade back in the case. I'm going to take the old guard and place them on the side of the machine. going to put the movable washer back on and the bolt. Again, try not to drop them. Then I'm going to tighten it back down. You're going to push with your right hand. It doesn't have to be very tight. Put the wrenches back on the side. Lower the handle. It's going to shut the little gate on the side. Step nine, install the wider throat plate. When you install the throat plate, you want to make sure it's locked down in the back. So there's a set of teeth here that mesh over there not locked down, it won't be flush, and it'll pick up. So ensure it's locked down. So if you're switching from the dado blade back to the original blade, again, don't drop the bolts. Remove the blade, and then we'll store the dado blade and the throat plate back in the tooling cabinet. So if you're reinstalling the standard blade, when you switch them out, you want to ensure the blade or the teeth are facing in the right direction. So the teeth are facing up towards me. You want to install the movable washer. 
and the bolt and try not to drop them down into the body of the machine. Tighten it down. And again, it doesn't have to be very tight. I'm going to place the wrenches back on the side. So once you've installed the blade and the teeth are facing in the correct direction, if you're installing the standard blade, you need to reinstall the guard. Step seven, you're going to retrieve the guard, which should be placed on the side of the machine. Lift up the anti-kickback fingers and lower the handle back down. Step eight. going to shut the little gate on the side and then step nine we're going to reinstall the throat plate and you want to make sure the throat plate is flush